Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Uh, last time we got ourselves some automated canola, <clears throat> got ourselves the um, press and stuff set up up here, as well as two generators, although one of them is currently not working. Um, I will rearrange this once we can get some better, better conduits and stuff, which we will hopefully be able to do soon, uh, because today is the day we finally make an arc furnace. Uh, I think this 4 million... IF, like immersive engineering flux, whatever you call it, um, is probably going to be enough to power it at least to smelt um, a couple of bits of osmium. Um, hopefully more than a couple, uh, but we'll see. Uh, so all we've got to do now is just get on with making this furnace. Now, oh, oops. Now the reason I've been holding off on this for so long is it is just nasty. Uh, so if we go for the arc furnace here, so hover over the question mark. We need a cauldron, 14 sheet she steel sheet metal slabs, eight steel sheet metal, six steel blocks, five steel scaffoldings. You know, it's just a ton of things. 27 reinforced blast bricks. Uh, you know, and that is going to be a pain in the neck itself. Uh, so what we're going to do is head down here. And what I'm probably going to do is we'll get rid of this blast furnace here. Now, I, you guys will have seen me go to the nether, uh, go to the end, sorry, and get the chorus fruit that we needed for that. I've only got 32 left, and that's because one of the other guys on the server um, needed some chorus fruit, so I did actually donate them to him. Uh, we will get around to making some more at some point later on. Um, but for now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repurpose... Uh, repurpose these blast bricks here um, but I'll do the do that last so I'll make all the other things first so the 14 you know all the steel stuff essentially as well as the light engineering blocks um, so basically all we've got to do is get working with it now I have made a ton of steel already hopefully will be enough I am aware that it takes a bit of steel and a bit of copper uh, steel blocks though um, where are we? Yeah, so six steel blocks, steel sheet metal. So the sheet metal. Okay, so we're going to have to make a bunch of steel plates as well. So what I might do is I'm going to set a bunch of this stuff going. We need six of these already. Uh, and what did I say? Sheet metal and sheet metal slab. Yep, so 14 sheet metal slabs, 8 steel sheet metals. So we're going to get, oh, we're probably going to need 16, probably more actually, 20. I'd say, I'd say 20, uh, 20 of these. That was the most awkward way of doing that. Uh, so we'll put 20 in there. Um, what I'm going to do is we will grab some... from out here seeing as we've had this coal thing going for a couple of days now as you can see we are really getting a lot of coal i'm gonna to have to find a way to use all that coal soon um where are we over here throw coal in cool all right so i'm gonna let those 20 go i will come back uh, after that 20 is done and i will have made a few of these extra bits and pieces um the other things are not too bad to make uh so you know steel Steel scaffolding. Yes, yeah, so we need some steel and some steel rods as well. Steel rods being just a couple of steel over and under. Uh, and I can't even remember how many they are. Five, you yeah, know, awkward numbers of everything. All right, so I'll be back in just a moment once I've made a few of these things. Uh, well, at least down to the reinforced blast bricks. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. So I'll see you back in just a bit. So we are most of the way there. I have uh, scaffolding, steel blocks, steel sheet metal slabs, uh, steel sheet metal, I've got too many of those, I only need eight of those. Uh, 10 light engineering blocks, six heavy, I only need five. My cauldron and the redstone engineering block, the only thing we need now is the reinforced blast brick, uh, which we need 27 of, and 20 cent of them with four of these steel plates around. So that's what's actually gonna take all the steel. I thought it needed a bit, but I, uh, didn't really check before we started I just thought you know it was gonna take a lot uh, turns out it was quite a bit less than we actually than I thought initially um, I, I had made a ton of steel like a whole row of it well I suppose we've still used yeah I suppose we've still used four stacks of it 
Yeah, okay, so it's still used quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to let this finish. We're going to have to make 108 of these steel plates, uh, and then we should be able to make the reinforced blast brick and get up there and make the arc furnace. Um, see you again once this is done. Alrighty, we are ready for the next bit of this. If I dig this block out and then right click in the middle, we should get all of it. 27, yes. Now, there's a little bit of a surprise at the end of this because there's not really an end to this. Uh, the reason being, once we've made this arc furnace, there's actually another bit that I haven't told you about yet, uh, which is the graphite, um, the graphite rod that needs to go in it, which is this, the graphite electrode, sorry. Now, the only way to make that is either into an engineer's workbench or a metal press. Uh, the metal press needs these hop graphite ingots in order to make them. The hop graphite ingot comes from smelting graphite dust. The graphite dust is only made in the industrial squeezer from some coke dust. And the coke dust is only made in the crusher or the sag mill. Sag mill we can't make yet until we have osmium. So we're gonna have to make ourselves a crusher, an industrial squeezer, and a metal press. So these are all things from engineers um, Immersive engineering. So as you can see, the metal press there is not terribly hard to do. Um, the crusher, the crusher is a little bit larger. Um, but starting to be thankful that I've made all of that, um, all of that steel and stuff now. Uh, and the other thing is the metal. I oh know we've done the metal press. That's the squeezer. And what was the other one? Metal press, crusher. Hey, oh, just those first three. Squeezer, heavy machinery. Yeah, that squeezer there. Right, so it's just those first three there. Metal press, crusher, and squeezer. Um, so what I'm going to do is we'll get up here first of all. And what I'm going to do is we'll probably put the arc furnace down over here somewhere. Here's a nice spot of three. So what we'll do is we'll look back at the arc furnace. Now it consists of that top by electrodes. That should say energy input through the three connectors at the back. Awesome. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go stop <laughs> and then uh, how can we get through the layers? There we go. So we're going to need a bunch of things. Now this is going to be the, what does that look like to you? A heavy engineering block? Either way, it is one, two, three, four, five by, it's actually five by five. So that's gonna be pretty nasty indeed. So if we start with the back, I want the back to be in line with the sort of electrodes here. So electrodes are running across here. The back will be here. So the middle will be right there, which was the heavy engineering block. So if we grab Yep, one of those. Let's get a bunch of room. Uh, we're gonna need the sheet metal, that sheet metal, scaffolding. Let's move that out of the way. Uh, we're gonna need the cauldron at the front. So if that goes there, we are gonna have, this is gonna be a giant, giant machine. Uh, and then solid blocks to the side of that. So we have one there, one there, that can disappear, that can disappear. We are gonna go for those in there. One there, one there. Now, where did we get to? So we have, And then the scaffolding, one, two, three, four, scaffolding there, one there, a cauldron there, and the last two flat bits there, awesome. Now let's put these bits in here. So we have in the next layer, we have two more steel, the heavy, the heavy, ooh, is that a heavy over there? Yes, and the three light engineering blocks. So that can go on there. Uh, we need the steel block, the steel block. And what did I say? Heavy and heavy, heavy and heavy. Light, light, light. Now that should be it for the heavy. And now I think it was like that. Yep. 
Next layer up has four. Ooh, okay. So we have another three lights and two steel and two more of the scaffolding. So we go for steel, steel, and three of those. One, two, three, four, I think. Yep, and I think it was one of those and one of those. Let's just make sure we can see what we're doing. Alrighty, and the next layer up is. So done that one, done that one. The next layer up has another light engineering box with two scaffolds. And the nine, so another one of those with a scaffold and a scaffold and the nine. And then do we have any more of that? Yeah, another three lights and two more of the scaffolds. So one, two, three, and a scaffold and a scaffold. Excellent. What a monstrosity that is. All right, now we just need to grab our hammer. Do I have it on me? No, I don't. <laughs> it should be in my tool chest with everything else. That's a Tinker's Hammer. Tinker's Hammer. There we go. Engineer's Hammer. You should be able to just smack this one. I don't know, the cauldron maybe? Yes, the cauldron. Cool, and we built it correctly, so it now looks how it should do. So we should now be able to... All right, so we've got a bunch of interface here. Now we'll have to figure that out at some point a bit later on, uh, because I am once again going to duck away here and make the other things that we're gonna need uh, for the metal press, the crusher, and the uh, squeezer. So I'll be back in just a moment once I've done all of this. Uh, it's not too much i should have enough stuff for that conveyor belt piston yeah i don't think there's going to be anything too difficult in any of these wood barrel steel fans fluid pipe yeah everything is kind of how we want it to be so i am going to be back in a minute once i've got four cauldrons wow okay i'm going to be back in just a bit and we'll build the rest of these machines up hopefully Hopefully there's enough room for them here. Oh, the metal press is pretty small. All right, so hopefully we'll have room for them across here, and this can be our little immersive engineering part of the world. Um, I'll be back in just a bit. All righty, that was a mammoth session getting all this stuff together. We should have everything now. Uh, and if we go on our engineer's manual, hover over that, the little green ticks there actually indicate that we've got the materials. So we've got everything for the squeezer. We've got everything for the crusher and everything for the metal press so what i'm going to do is we'll put the squeezer here first so we're going to go for light engineering scaffolding and what are those those are the these things two of them uh, so those that and the light engineering box so we're going to put this in the middle here so we'll go for there 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 that and I think engineering blocks again. Yep. Ah, oh, I've gone for the wrong corner. The wrong corner. All right, so we'll put that one there instead. <laughs> and now I put the wrong block down. That's there, so we don't need any of those anymore. Uh, what is the next layer? We have four barrels, another light engineering, and the redstone. So another light engineering, our four barrels. So the redstone there and four barrels there. And then what's on the top? Those are a piston facing downwards and three steel fences. So a piston facing downwards. So the fences should be pretty easy. The piston facing downwards, however. All right, so I'm just gonna do this so that we can place it place it just fine so if we go there put the piston facing downwards uh, we can climb up here that should be enough for us to smack it wherever we need to smack it 
Hmm. Oh, we can turn the piston around with that anyway. Um, alrighty. What do we need to do for this one? That looks like it should be it. Unless that piston is the wrong way. Anyway, engineer's hammer on the central wooden barrel. Right, so I'm not sure, sure why that... Oh, okay. From the side, not from the front. Go figure. All right, so unless this is the... Yeah, unless that is the front. No, it can't be because I wanted the... um power to go into the, the power normally goes into the light engineering blocks which is why I sort of line that up along the back anyway so that's that one done uh, the next thing we're going to need is the crusher and the crusher is going to be another massive block hopefully no more than three wide pause so we've got three light engineerings the rest are scaffolds and then another two light engineerings so we go for one two Oh, we're not quite going to have enough room. Uh, nope. So there. Let's put that there. Put one in there. Uh, and then what do we got? Scaffolds. I think like that. Yeah, cool. And then we're going to have lights again is that a heavy in the middle potentially and then a light at the front right so we're gonna go for huh. we're gonna go for screwing it up already <laughs> so we're gonna do that we're gonna go for the lights at the back one of these at the front and pretty sure that is the heavy in the middle and then on top nine hoppers wow Let me try the nine hoppers so one two three four five six seven eight nine smack it in the something central hopper no it's always a bit of a tricky thing to figure out where to actually hit the thing. It's turning the turning the hoppers around though. Alright. RTFM. So that is control panel at the front will hold the crushes process. Da da da. Formed by right clicking on the central block of the front. The front is the wide side of the structure which has a light engineering block at the bottom. Which is there. Okay, so we have done something not quite right with this. Now, some of you have probably spotted what it is already. Ah, we're missing a block. We are missing one of these right there. Nope. What are we doing wrong here? Three lights, yeah, all the scaffolding. Maybe that is a light engineering block in the middle. We've got one light engineer. Okay, so when I work this out, does the metal press use any light engineering blocks? No, it doesn't. It uses the heavy, so we have screwed up. We need to put the light one in there figure out where the hopper went <laughs> go there hey there we go so even though it says that's the front in fact these are a little bit skew if I think that red bit is supposed to face the front every time so we might I might move these later on we'll see how we go Depends where the power plugs into them. Anyway, so those are those ones there. The last one we need to do is our press, which is literally, yeah, pretty easy stuff. Pretty easy stuff. Now, where are we going to put that? I kind of thought I'd have more room up here, but we don't in the end. 
Look, you know what? It's going to take me a little bit of a while, but I think I'm going to move all these. This is too far over. I'm going to move it over here and give ourselves a bit more room. I'm going to cut this here. I'll be back in just a bit. I'll reform all these over there. It's like I said, it's going to be a pain, but it's going to be one of those things that's going to pay off in the long run um, to do it a bit better now. Um, so I'll be back in just a bit. Woo, we made it. So I've moved everything across. We have this rebuilt over here. All of our little control panel things are facing the front, which is where we can attach switches uh, to turn things on and off. I've run a bunch of cable to the back. Um, this plugs into one of these. I think you can use all three of them if you want or not. I don't think it really matters. Um, these ones here can only plug into this little gold dot on the top of each of these um, where these can plug in. Uh, generally, I think you'd use the immersive engineering cabling instead. Uh, but I'm choosing just to use the energy conduit because I have it on hand. Now, we're plugged in. Now, if that's set to in and out, now I didn't check to see whether this went out the side or not. Let's try that instead. Well, we've got power. No power there. Some power there. And 26.4, so it hasn't quite gotten to there yet. Okay, so it looks like I was right the first way around. Where we can just put this on the top. I don't know why that didn't stack. Uh, that will then, yeah, okay, so it's just taking the power out of there. Awesome, so that's 16 there, 32 there, 16 there, and this has a 64. Wow, okay. So the first thing we're going to do, I do want to get this done and actually smelt some osmium before the end. Um, we do have this metal press rod thing, which I have made here. I'm not quite sure how this works. I don't know whether you... Ah, oh, there we go. So that's apparently how it works. Uh, and now all we're going to need to do is get some cold coke and throw that in the crusher. We're going to need a bit of it. Of it, I think we're gonna need. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna. I'll take 32 up with me, and we'll crush 16 of it. And that should be enough. I have a feeling we only need two, maybe three electrodes. Um, I mean, we might only need one, to be honest. Okay, so that is the. Interesting. There's no interface for that one. There's an interface for that one, but there's no interface for this crusher. So what that's likely to mean... Wow, is we're going to probably have to throw... This stuff out there. Nope. Uh, what are we going to need to do? I need to put... Uh, for now, I'm really just going to... Throw those out. Hey, there we go. Now, I don't know where that's going to come out. Right at the front, so we're going to have to put ourselves a little something in front to grab this, the coke dust. But that's pretty cool. So, now we're going to need to make this into the graphite dust, which you do in the squeezer. So, we're going to need eight of that. It makes only one of those. Alright, so we might need to grind some more of this up as well. I'm not sure if the squeezer needs anything else. It doesn't appear to have any liquids or anything in there. So it looks like we can just throw that in there. Wow. Whew. Cool. So we got that. And now we need to smelt. which should be pretty fast over here. This, oh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna need a ton more. All right. We are gonna need the other 32 of that and we're gonna need to do all of it. Um, we're gonna make ourselves a chest. All right, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna cut this once again. I'm gonna grind all this cold coke up. I'll smelt it all and we'll get the graphite ingots and then we'll see what we can do about making some electrodes. Um, I'll grind up a bunch of osmium as well. I do have, yeah, there we go. I'll just throw some of that 
in there and get some dust. Um, and I'll be back in just a moment and hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to smelt our first bit of osmium which will unlock a whole bunch of machines for us um, to do in the coming episodes. So I'll see you back here, hopefully the last cut. See you back in just a sec. Alrighty, we are back. Hopefully one last time. I decided to make an extra four of these hop ingots as well. Um, not entirely sure how we're supposed to do this. Maybe we just throw them on. Stamp. Yeah, look at that. Stamp and stamp. So this is how we can get three of these bars instead. Cool. And now I've also made a couple of, uh, if I can do it correctly, a couple of chests because the front of this is going to spit some stuff out and the back of it is also going to spit some stuff out. So I'm going to throw one there and one in the um, back. Now, reason being, let's just throw these. So these are where they go. Interestingly, they're only 50% integrity already. Hmm. All right. And then what we do is we throw some osmium in there. We should get some. So if we try and do more than one at once. Like that. So that is going to stick. Yay, osmium out the front and out the back. We should get. Well, eventually we'll get slag out the back anyway. Now this thing will stop working if we run out of. Yeah, it'll stop working if we don't take the slag out and if we run out of these 49.6 okay so these electrodes are going to last a little while um this is still taking probably longer than i anticipated it it looks like it's only doing one at a time although we are pretty low on power i'm guessing once we upgrade our cabling the cabling might be a bit of a factor uh also we definitely know that this is going to be working really really hard so what we can probably do just for now is right click that this will give us 200 rf per tick uh, I'm, i was hoping that this would just come straight out of here but it doesn't appear to be so i'm not sure how we can do this if we do extract with always active I'm unsure how to do that. Um, we might figure that out at some other point. But for now, this is actually processing fast enough for us to get some osmium anyway. Um, look, at six of it already. And now we can finally get onto things like uh, making the sag mill, which I really wanted to make. Uh, as I said, we've got the tongue steel, we've got the piston, we can do that. But it is this tongue steel, uh, sorry, this refined obsidian that we need here, as well as the basic capacitor. Basic capacitor, silver clump. So we're going to need a purification chamber. Again, this is where the osmium starts coming in. Uh, and we're also going to need to do some, yeah, metallurgic infuser. Again, osmium. So this is going to be probably the next sort of stuff we do. Mechanism. Mechanism's the mod that I'm trying to think of. Um, but for now, that is a another pretty successful episode. I've been meaning to do this arc furnace for ages. It did take a lot less materials than I initially thought, but we did have to make these extra machines along the way. Um, and yeah, we now have a little immersive engineering suite of machines to do stuff with cool um so as always thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time